Capítulo 1. Cita lunar. Una transmisión de otro planeta pone patas arriba al mundo de Cassie. Vale, han vuelto a la Tierra, entiendo. Octavo Cañaveral Año 2068 Bueno, casi ha crecido algo después de volver a la gravedad de la Tierra ¿Qué piensas, Kayla? ¿Crees que podemos obtener un poco más de este relic? Sí me neither. Are you done yet? I feel like you should have been done ages ago. If your butt is starting to hurt from the car seat, you're welcome to come up here and help me. Hmm? No, I'm good. Besides, that wouldn't be much help anyway. You're right. You wouldn't. As an MPD systems are for nerds. Okay. Okay, bro. Just be honest. You're feeling too threatened by me and my super brain. That super brain of yours still needs to be chaperoned to every MPT dish by a senior staff member like me. Remember? Wait, did you finally admit that you're old? Whatever. Anyway, I'm nearly done. Just have to cut out some plating that's obstructing the beam's waveguide. Can you let Moonhub know the dish is ready to receive? I already did. Don't forget to hook the screen points back up to the receivers. Mm-hmm. Got it. I didn't know that I have to come down here. Está recibiendo Habrá que girar la antena O oh, yo sigo bajando La girarán ellos, ¿no? Ese no recibe. Vale. Ahora sí. All right. Now let's get the stream points hooked up and then we're done. Diría que hay que seguir bajando. El movimiento se nota bastante más fluido que en el primer juego. No es que haya mucha diferencia, pero... He bajado un poquito los gráficos también. Punto. 
para evitar lo que nos pasó con el primer juego, de que me reventó en algún momento. People cope before stream tech. Must have been a mess of cables snaking around entire living rooms. I remember it well. Good times. Okay, just gotta find the receiver point to connect it to. Tendré que mover todo esto, ¿no? Tengo que mover. Hay que hacerlo al revés, en diagonal. Ya que uno no llega, el otro sí. This is the third site I've had to hook up to a stream point. These dishes shouldn't be running on emergency power. Yeah, along with everything else in this place. These smaller cascrain antennae can't withstand another thermal shock. Not with the prolonged power traffic that's passing through them. You realize no one understands what you're saying, right? Come on, even you know what a cyclotron wave rectifier is. Okay, now you're just making up words. <sighs> Hop on! La energía funciona, la infraestructura no. Ese es el problema. Are we still doing drinks after this? Claire almost choked me to death last week for giving me beer. Worse. Listen, your sister might not be big, but when it's something that concerns you, that woman can kill a lion with her bare hands. So that's a yes on the drinks. Hello. Hold on. I got a message that I've been asked to go to Maria right away. Apparently for some classified emergency meeting. Maria? Oh, that must be really serious. Can I tag along? No. You only have to smuggle me past security, and then once I'm in, no, I'll just... No. Fine. <laughs> I know that fine. Claire? You going to that meeting at Maria's? That meeting you're not invited to? Yeah. Please, Claire, if you just let me through security, then I'll just, you know... I I'll just hear about it later. It's fine. Esto es lo que ha quedado a la humanidad, está todo aquí. Alright, 
is your stop. Is it? It is. Just let the grown-ups handle this secret meeting first. Okay. That was uncalled for. Just wanted to make sure you're not still going to try anything dumb to get in. I won't. Hmm. Don't even think about it. Uh-huh. Salto como si estuviese en la luna todavía. All right. Let's go find another way into Maria's office. That's called lying, Ayla. Let's go. El escaneo en el primer juego me gustaba más. Se veía. Era, o sea, era más visible. El orbe de la agencia espacial. El orbe de la agencia espacial resulta irónico que lo hayan pintado de amarillo oro mientras el planeta se vuelve más desértico a cada día que pasa. Yo no puedo hacer nada al respecto. Las generaciones pasadas ya lo han dado todo por sentado. Tenemos 11 cómics por coger. Vale. Tabulador. Tendremos que escalar en plan Assassin's Creed. Mañana ya no te levantas a las 8. Pero, ¿qué son las 8 para ti, Franca? Y tú te levantas a las 6. <risa> El museo. Sí, podemos cortar por aquí a María. Podría ser divertido ver también. No he estado aquí en años. Es como nadie lo tiene. En 2041. The Lunar MPT dish helped diminish the planet's energy crisis by massively increasing energy yields. After the Great Blackout of 2054 and the instigation right, of the mission 59. Of Lunar, Rolf Robertson made his way to the moon base to restart the MPT, giving his life in the process. WSA really is trying their best to help our world with our energy needs. I'm sure we'll get to help the entire population someday. Ahora que estás teletrabajando, te levantas a las 8 y te pones a teletrabajar ahí media. El traje espacial del Rolf en la luna. En una vida que ha tenido este atuendo. Solo podemos soñar con formar parte de una misión tan legendaria. ¿Rolf sobrevivió? No lo sé. After the success of Mission Fortuna, Claire Johansson spearheaded Mission Bestia to provide manpower to the Luna MPT and bring Rolf's body back home. Claire and her vale, team no. discovered WSA software engineer Sarah Baker critically no injured in no. cryosleep. Isaac Johansson, one of the three Lunar Council members and core outward instigators, took the last arc and escaped. That's the last time I saw Dad. I'm fine. Just remembering it always feels... I'm fine. ¿Qué opinará ella sobre eso? ¿Correcto o incorrecto? Quiero ver el museo. Microwave Power Technology is a revolutionary form of energy absorption and distribution. The Lunar MPT, along with the 42 Earth-based MPT receivers, helped to stop the growing energy crisis of the 2030s. MPTs. My jam. I got absolutely fascinated by it when I saw my dad working on it every day. He really saved this planet when he designed this. Yeah, and then he left it. Yeah, that's the reactor, the evacuation of Tombo. Look at what happened on the moon. 
Baron. After the great blackout catapulted the Earth back into an energy crisis, Claire Johansson, Maria Gonzalez, and Rolf Robertson undertook Mission Fortuna, a manned rocket mission to discover the blackout's cause. Robertson, under the guise of Johansson and Gonzalez, refueled and reconnected the MPT dish. Claire really had such a big hand in reviving the WSA. Esto es una buena forma de hacerte un breve resumen de lo que pasó en el primer juego. Y no lo has jugado. Autobahn. Este segundo juego también ha sido un Kickstarter. La gente debe de ser los... Los Bakers. Está guay en el nombre. Has aportado para que el juego naciera, o sea que... Rosa no estaba de acuerdo con lo que ocurrió. Devised by the Lunar Council members sometime before the Great Blackout, Project Outward saw the evacuation of nearly all Moonbase residents on board three large spacefaring vessels known as ARCs. The location of the traitorous council members, as well as the rest of the Moonbase crew, Remains unknown. My dad designed and built most of the arcs that they used. Like almost everything else here at the WSA. It was supposed to be an escape plan for the colony if something ever went wrong. Por si algo salía mal, no sé, no, no por si les hubiese por saco dejar la tierra y abandonarla y todo eso. Ay, a los muertos. Ayla, give that door a try and see if we get lucky. Well, worth a try. Oh, hi, Mark. Video. Looking good, sis. <laughs> Do I really need to change these? I like nothing like that anymore. Are you joking? You look so good still. Thanks, I try. You? Trying anything? Yeah, right. I just, I meant that, like, Thanks. you... Never have to come on, Alex. Try. Are you headed to Maria's office? Oh, uh, why? Oh, I'm just going the same way. So, hey, I was just looking at a few of the Mission for Tuna exhibits on my way over here. That's good. How long were you actually stationed on the moon? I was on the space station, mostly. Ah, oh, right. Yeah, that's why I never saw you on the surface, I guess. I saw you. Oh, really? When I did software upgrades for Rose's ASE. Oh, yeah, ACE. No, ASE. Yeah. Yeah, no, I, I mean... <laughs> I named it ACE because I didn't get that ASE was an acronym, so I just kept calling it Ace, and Rosa would just start doing that too. It's kind of a confusing name, I guess. <laughs> Tara parece right. muy fría, ¿no? Bueno, a ver, después de lo que pasó, de que Rolf Alex, muriera salvándola. Right? Uh, where are you headed to? Wait, wait, you didn't answer my question yet. Uh, question? About how long you were stationed on the moon? You want the years with the forced cryosleep or without? 
Sorry, I didn't mean to. I really just need to get to the meeting, Kat. I just wanted to apologize for what happened with my dad. I, I know he didn't mean what he did. I think that's why he tried to save you on the moon. Save me? Your dad did not... Kathy, I don't want to be disrespectful, but what your dad and the Lunar Council did, they, they left us here to rot. They committed the worst crimes imaginable against humankind and our planet. They deserve to be punished for what they've done. Am I interrupting something? No. No. Thanks to an entire backlog of precedents, I know not to be surprised to see you here. I made it this far, you might as well just let no. me. No. Maria's gonna be on video, you no. know. No. Okay, I thought you guys rehearsed that. We totally did. Run at work. I like being a rebel. Let's go. Six years. What? On the moon. It was six years. I'm sorry I didn't answer your question earlier. Right. Thanks. Carguémonos las instalaciones, venga va. Why not? Se ve bien. Damos la linterna. Mal sí. Vas por aquí. lo que puedo cortar aliar seguir cortando eso vale. a ver vas para arriba puedo llegar aquí Salta, coño. Llego ahora. Así. Sí. Vale. He llegado. We need line of sight on that conversation, Leila. 